The giant is strong, the giant is tall, but the dwarf on his shoulders sees furthest of all. Whose shoulders are you standing on? Kind of a weird question, huh? <laughs> when I first became an entrepreneur in 2011, I was fixated on the idea of becoming self-made because I had already climbed from the bottom against all odds. But as time passed, I discovered that no one is truly self-made. We have all benefited from someone who has made a deposit in our lives at one time or another. Isaac Newton said, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. So I'll ask again, whose shoulders are you standing on? See, mentors can help us broaden our perspective, sharpen our thinking, fine tune our skills, and be a source of encouragement that leads to confidence. I have two mentors that I meet with regularly. Dr. Norman Cotterell, a clinical psychologist and cognitive behavioral therapy expert, and Dr. Mark Leary, a social and personality psychologist and retired professor from Duke University. I'm standing on their shoulders, man. And I really appreciate these guys. And so here are five things for you to consider as you seek out a mentor. Number one, be specific. What would you like to gain from a mentor? How can they help you? Number two, be flexible. Consider your mentor's priorities and try to make things easier for them. Number three, be open. Seek feedback and constructive criticism without debate. A wise man loves to be corrected, right? So be transparent about your weaknesses. Number four, be ready. Present yourself as someone eager to learn and grow. Do the work, prepare, make good use of your time together. And number five, be a blessing. How might you serve them and be a blessing to them as well? Remember, the giant is strong, the giant is tall, but the dwarf on his shoulders sees furthest of all. How far do you see? Why not be a dwarf standing on the shoulders of giants? Peace.